looking at the DesignJet Z3200 and how to go about disabling the cutter. Now unfortunately that's not a feature that's available via the front panel so what I'm going to do is run through the software options that they have for performing that task. So if we're running the DesignJet via its network card uh, we can go into some of the advanced features of it, settings and the like uh, via its web interface. Uh, very simple all we need to do is get the IP address of the design jet, which uh, in the case of the Z3200 I'm currently working on, um, comes up on the front panel of the machine, and pull up a web browser, and just literally type in that IP address. Okay, so now we're looking at the design jet itself, and I want to go in there and turn the cutter off, so into setup, down to cutter, turn it off and apply those changes. So if we're not running the design jet via the embedded web server we're missing out on some functionality to actually control that printer what we'll look at doing is installing the HP printer utility to give us back that functionality so that we can actually control that printer a little better um, we've got a DesignJet Z3200 installation disk here. Now, unfortunately, it's it's not made too obvious how you go about installing that utility from the disk. So we'll just run through that. Go into my computer. See that we've got that uh, HP CD in the in the DVD drive there. So we'll just explore that into a DesignJet folder. HP Printer Tools, the printer utility and then run the setup. Just double click on it. It's all fairly basic from there, except in the license agreement. So having installed the HP printer utility, all we need to do is go in there and run it. Should go out and find all the design jets that are set up on your machine. Working on the Z3200, so select that. Into settings. All I want to do is turn the cutter off, so select that turn it off, click apply, and simple as that. So having disabled the cutter on the design jet, what I've done is I've sent a test print to the machine. As you can see, it's printed it off, and it's just hanging there, not cut off. Now, could try cutting it here, which is where we'd ideally want to be cutting it but there's no actual groove there on the machine, so not very useful and you'll just end up scratching up your machine quite badly especially if you're doing it a lot so what we will do instead of that, we'll advance the paper get it into the right position and then we'll cut it so if we go to the front panel and select this button here main menu comes up, paper menu is the first item that's, that's the one that we want so we'll just hit OK then we'll just scroll down to move paper. Yeah, OK. And it tells us there if we want to advance the paper or rewind it. OK. So we want to advance it. So press the press this button here and just get it to the right position. OK. Now there's actually a reasonable cut line down here which won't damage your printer. So, we've got it in the right position, get our blade, slice it off, and then all we do, back to the front panel again, and just use the up arrow just to rewind the paper. Keep your finger held in and the front panel will tell you when it's uh, hit the end of its travel without actually unloading the paper. 